An EU-registered cow-calf backgrounding or feedlot operation may have both eligible and non-eligible cattle. Often this is because some animals on the farm are given growth-enhancing products or GEPs. If GEPs are used, a written procedure must be created that explains how and when they are utilized. For each type of GEP, an inventory is needed that shows how much was received and used. If the EU-registered operation produces mixed feeds containing GEPs, they must be able to demonstrate that feed for eligible animals is free from GEP residues. A letter of guarantee is required from external suppliers of feed and supplements for EU-eligible cattle. When feeding products containing GEPs, a written plan is required which describes the actions taken to prevent eligible animals from consuming this feed. Feeding operations will likely require a separate feed truck used only for EU-eligible cattle and there must be adequate separation between enclosures containing EU-eligible and non-eligible cattle. In these so-called mixed operations, GEP-free animals require an alternate visual identifier, such as a designated color dangle tag. If, for any reason, cattle are accidentally exposed to GEPs, they must be removed from the EU program and a record made of their removal.